Good morning, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's 6 o'clock in the morning on Sunday the 28th of June. It's been two months since I've done an update. There's plenty to do, plenty to tell you. Um, so let's get on, shall we? So here's my one bed of potatoes. Uh, my first bed of potatoes, I should say. These are desires. Uh, they could do a really good weeding, which they're going to get in a little while. Um, not coming through very strong at the moment. As you can see. But hopefully, these are going to be okay. I would have expected these to be a bit bigger by now. If you look at the potatoes behind me, you can see they're much bigger. Bigger anyway, look at that, much bigger. Seems to be a slow year this year. Not quite sure what's going on. I'm sure I was doing better than this last year, this time last year. So, these ones are, uh, normally you call them, call them um, Jersey, new potatoes. But because I'm not in Jersey, I can't call them that. I can't remember the proper name for them. But that's what they are anyway, little small uh, new potatoes. So, and then coming along here, a few flowers to add a bit of colour in there. We've got uh, here, sunflower, a few sunflowers here, just dotted along, all the way along. <coughs> Excuse me, coming up to my first pumpkin. There's a lot of muck underneath there that it's going to tap in too soon. Raspberries are coming. Here's my uh, uh, sweet corn. Okay, you can see the sweet corn in here. It's coming along. The rain's really starting to come down now. This is my other sweet corn. This is mini pop. These are the smaller bite-sized sweet corns. Um, you see, just in there, just coming through the ground. In here, uh, I think that's one. There, and there, and there. Parsnips. There's a. Uh, excuse the camera work. Over here is another pumpkin. Onions, onions and more onions. The onions are doing well. Doing better than anything else really I'd say. They're doing really well. Coming down, coming down. Whatever you don't look at the plants in the background because they're a nightmare. I'll show you those in a minute. So then we come to here. Butternut squash. Some more there to put in, one more pumpkin to put in. Here we have uh, this is my little nursery bed type thing. Uh, that was a cut in from a raspberry bushes that I did uh, in the last video. On the table, we've got some more raspberry cuttings. So, if anybody wants some raspberry plants in the Norfolk area, then we're uh, more than happy to help out. Here, look. I don't know what that is. I think that's a weed in a, an old pot. That's Campanula. This is a rose cutting that I took uh, from uh, from my garden. It's doing quite well. Around the back of the shed. All them flowers. I think I have loads of blackberries off of there this year. There's a really tall uh, thing here that comes up every year right next to my compost bin and I have no idea what it is. Um, strawberries. See the strawberries are doing well. 
happen. Left some of these a little bit too late and some of them have gone a bit mushy so uh, the birds are going to end up getting those. There's some more here, these are outside the net and uh, these are first year strawberries that will be, uh, they were runners from last year so I just put them here because I never had room for them so I, the birds are more than welcome to them and then next year I shall transplant them and you see that something's already been eating this one. So next year I shall transplant these plants as second year plants into into uh, the uh, strawberry bed under the net. You can see something's been enjoying the rhubarb more than I have. So that's our second year rhubarb. I keep getting massive flower spikes on my rhubarbs. So they're not old enough. I haven't had anything decent off of these yet for uh, to make anything with. Um, and then up here, my raspberries, they'll be ready in a few months. Um, there's a few on there, a few on here and there. Now I've got loads of cabbage there. I've got some purple sprouting broccoli, cabbages, some more cabbages. And more cabbages. Six trays. Is it six trays? One, two, three, four, five. Five trays of cabbages. Purple sprout and broccoli and sprouts that I need to do something with. But as you can see, I haven't got any room. So I think what I need to do is uh, wait for the potatoes to come up and hopefully that I'm in time to put the cabbage in, in its place. So, over here are my peas. They did look like nice healthy plants. As you can see, I think the pigeons have got the best of them this year. I thought we only had to net them uh, when they were small plants, small succulent leaves. But um, it's not looking that way. The only thing that's doing well over here at the minute is the um, sunflower. That should get quite a big one. See, look at these. Does that look a sorry sight? And that one there, well, that plant's been pulled out of the ground. Here, yeah, look. That's been pulled out of the ground, so that's no good. And the actual plant support has been broken. That wasn't there. <laughs> No doubt some big fat birds have been landing on it, trying to do something. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with these peas at the minute. Some good sized pods on some of them. I should just have to bite the bullet and pull them off I think and take them home. Right, up the back of the plot, in the junkyard. This is a massive compost heap that's going to get a good uh, shaving in the in the winter knock that right back so I've got a bit more room here's my new bird bath that I showed you a little while ago a few weeks ago on Facebook courtesy of my neighbour um, this is another Facebook idea this is a pot of marbles and that gets topped up every day to uh, allow the bees somewhere safe to drink so they can't fall in and this is my Wildflowers. And I showed you this sign was the beginning of a video last time I think. Bees welcome it says. Now these were all little tiny uh, seedlings last time I showed you. And now they're doing just fabulous. They're doing really well. It's lovely. Smells quite nice as well, but unfortunately you wouldn't know that. So I'm going to get on. Got some weed uh, stinging nails to knock down because uh, I don't know if you can quite see it in here. There's an old oil drum, and I want that because I'm just about to start a fire. So a few bits and pieces to do. Some stuff to add to the compost heap. 
um, bit of grass trimming to do <clears throat> um, some planting to do, some weeding to do and uh, all that to dodge the showers now I'm going to get on with that why don't you take a break and I will see you in a little while ok cheers see you in a bit bye well that's nearly all the rubbish out of my shed gone well, all I've got now is a load of exam papers from the latest round of GCSEs to get rid of which my daughter no longer wants anything to do with quite rightly so look at that excellent anybody think it was the middle of winter right onwards right, that's it for today the time is let's have a quick look on my phone yeah, it's 11 o'clock rain stops play it's absolutely belting down now so I'm gonna call it quits I've got a few things in um, one you can see from here pumpkin that's, uh, that should be a big one but um, can't make this recording too long because my camera's getting absolutely soaked so thanks for watching and I will um, do another update in a little while cheers bye